Hello students, hope you all are doing well. So here in this video is we are going to talk about the reactions of S group elements with acids. So it's we are going to find out their reactions with acids. What are the acids? Ah, acids you might have seen is hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid, nitric acid. Those are more but the things more frequent you could see they are in the school lab. Okay, okay. So these uh, acids you could find they are in various concentrations as well, like diluted, uh, medium concentrations, and high concentrations, such. So let's talk about two extremes: diluted and concentrated acids. Let's talk about them. Then students, it's first group, second group. Those other elements that you find in S block. When you let them react with acid, you will find soon that it's they are highly exothermic. Therefore, it's possible some explosions. You have the risk of explosion having there when you let them react. Therefore, it's our recommendation is please do not try. Do not try those reactions of S block elements with acids because all the first group elements explosively. Could react with acids down the group, their reactivity get increased. So if you still try their reaction, those S block elements, first group elements with those acids, it's uh, it might be the last experiment that you carry out there in the lab. It's if you are lucky enough, you could find you there at the hospital visiting there with flowers. It's a joke. Huh? So you don't ever try. It's not on you. It's teachers. Us also. We do not try those reactions, highly exothermic reactions. Those first group elements reactions with acids. Then in the second group also down the group their reactivity will increase. Therefore, they are also you have the risk of explosion. So it's only magnesium we we use to show you the reaction of those acids with. S block elements. Magnesium. We use magnesium there. Using magnesium, we show the reaction as uh, with uh, hydrochloric acid. It's with sulfuric acid as well as nitric acid. Let's first find out in theory what we are going to have there when you let them react with those three acids. Students, it's uh, you. Those two extremes as dilute and concentrated. Let's first use hydrochloric acid with magnesium. Magnesium. So, regardless of the concentration, here the products going to be the same. Students, it's a MgCl2, magnesium chloride, and hydrogen. It's a colorless odorless gas to be evolved. When you expose the burning spin, they could burn out, giving you a pop sound. So, it's you who balance it in this manner. But there is a difference as well. It could be, if it is very, very slowly, these uh, uh, gas bubbles evolve. Here it is fast. And it's you better be careful with concentrated. If you try, you better not try. It's dilute. It's enough. Try with that. It's for the theory only we show you that those both reactions give you the same products. Then students, let's go to the sulfuric acid. When it is sulfuric acid, when you use both type extremes, dilute and concentrated, sulfuric, they will react with magnesium and you will realize it's the products now going to be affected by the concentration of acid. If it is dilute, then in students you are going to have it H2 gas, with H2 gas, they will liberate, uh, they will uh, liberate H2 gas in you know, the sulfate respective sulfate. When you use sulfuric acid, concentrated one, it is MdSO4 magnesium sulfate and sulfur dioxide and water and water so students it's two different they 
With concentrated, they liberate H2. With diluted, they liberate not H2 but SO2. SO2. So, if you would find the reaction be like this. Balance it. When you balance the reaction, it is 2 H2 SO4 going to react with magnesium, giving you MdSO4 SO2 at 2 H2O. So then let's go to the nitric acid. It's very, very diluted. One person let's say HNO3 only going to liberate H2. H2. Otherwise, if it is normal diluted, you could get NO as well. It's uh, based on the concentration, it could give few few different gases at different times. So it's magnesium nitrate you get. Then it's this the reaction with magnesium. So with concentrated magnesium, no matter nitric acid, it's uh, you get magnesium showing the reaction as it forms uh, the respective nitrate and nitrogen dioxide and water. Water. Then students, it's they react differently. They react differently with different acids. So it's anyway, it has a tendency to form H2 with dilute acids. But when it is concentrated, the reaction would be complex when it goes from hydrochloric to H2SO4 to HNO3. So anyway, it's we are just giving you in theory of day, it's in a very very safe environment, we let you react magnesium with dilute hydrochloric acid. It's the only reaction that you are going to experience there. Okay, so the point is all the stock element could easily react and uh, explosively react with acids, with acids. So, if we demonstrate that reaction using magnesium only, hope you could understand their reactivity and the products they form going to get very based on the concentration as well. So, that's it, that's it for this video we are going to find out. So, it's still me in the next video talking about the compounds that slow elements form, their, their reactions with water, their properties and their reactions with water. Okay, hope you, understood, you have understood these few points. So, we'll be there in our next video. Okay, bye bye students.